Now, there are three really important things that you should know if you drink a lot of tea. Now, normally when you think about tea, you think about something that's pretty healthy. And um, I mean, it's better than coffee, right? And people drink a lot of tea. In fact, the great majority of the planet drinks tea. But there are three things that are just really important to know if you are a tea drinker. Now, certain teas are high in something called tannins. Now, especially if it's black tea, like English breakfast tea, those teas are really high in tannins. Now, green tea is very low in tannins, but when you're exposed to tannins, there's a couple things that happen. Number one, tannin tends to bind or chelate iron, okay, uh, zinc, and calcium. So if you're drinking a lot of black tea, you're binding up your iron, your zinc, and your calcium, and then you may start experiencing symptoms of those minerals. But also tannins block the absorption of thiamine, B1. And B1, from my viewpoint, is one of the most important vitamins. I've done a lot of videos on B1, but if you're deficient in B1, uh, you're going to get anxiety. You're going to have nervous tension. Uh, when you go to sleep at night, you might have more vivid dreams or even nightmares or restless leg syndrome. But B1 deficiencies relate to a lot of problems with your nervous system. And since we're on the topic of B1, I think it's really important to understand other things that can deplete B1 as well. Uh, let's go through the list. Uh, caffeine, which by the way, is in tea and coffee. Coffee has tannins as well. Uh, sugar, refined grains, sulfites alcohol, metformin, which can cause a symptom of lactic acidosis, which is kind of dangerous. So if you're on metformin, you better be taking more B1 as well as B12 because both of those vitamins get depleted. All right, raw fish can deplete you of B1, as in sushi, antibiotics, antacids, diuretics, birth control pills, SSRIs as an anti-anxiety or antidepressive medication, seizure medication, human papillomavirus vaccines, chlorine from tap water, and if you chew betel nut, that will also deplete B1. All right, number two, the second problem with tea, okay? Certain teas are loaded with heavy metals, okay? Like aluminum, lead, and arsenic. Now, I will say that the source of the tea really will tell you if there's these heavy metals. For example, if you get your tea from China, there's been an interesting study, which I'll put down below, that shows that not only does a lot of teas from China have heavy metals, but they're loaded with pesticides. One study showed 29 different pesticides, and most of them were illegal. So when you buy tea, you really need to know the source of where you get the tea. Japan, for example, has a much higher quality tea. Also, one common toxin in tea is fluoride. Okay, so the soil which the tea is grown on um, really reflects what's going to be in that tea. Tea has to be grown in acidic soils. So in that environment, a lot of things are absorbed into that plant that can be not just regular healthy minerals that you need, but actually toxic metals. So the source of the tea matters. Don't go for the cheapest tea. Find something that is comes from a source that's very, very healthy. Now, number three, the tea bag itself. Some of these tea bags are bleached with chlorine, pronounced epichlorohydrin, okay? And this chemical is actually a carcinogen. So definitely don't stop drinking tea. Just make sure you imply four things with tea. Make sure your tea is organic. Make sure if you consume a lot of tea that you also take B1 at the same time as well as taking minerals, okay? Because tea will deplete B1 and minerals. And lastly, you might wanna buy tea that is kind of like a loose leaf that is not in a bag. Or if you're getting those little bags, make sure the bags are bleach-free tea bags. And I would make sure that you research your tea to know where it comes from. The source matters. So since we're on the topic of tea, if you haven't seen my video on green tea, check that out. I put it right here.